Don't be fooled by misleading graphs. Here are two different ways that graphs can and might be sending you the wrong message. Our first example is called using a non-zero baseline. If we take a look at this United States GDP data for Q1 and Q2 of 2023, the increase looks pretty massive, right? But notice our vertical axis doesn't start at zero. If we switch our axis to use a zero baseline, a very different picture emerges. It's hard to even tell that these are two different bars or quarters. If we put them side by side, you can really see the disparity created by shrinking and stretching our axis. If you wanted to show the zoomed in versions, and some graphs are better shown at reduced scales, then it may be helpful to show a percentage increase on the graph directly like this. The second way to mislead is using cumulative graphs. Take a look at this famous graph that Apple presented in 2013. It certainly looks impressive, showing monumental growth in sales, but this is lying to you. I looked at Apple's quarterly SEC filings and pulled these sales numbers. If we graph these on a bar chart, we get something that looks like this. It paints a very different picture. Instead of what looks like an ever increasing demand for iPhones, we see that it's a bit more nuanced than that. What Tim Cook should have done is combine these two charts. Here I've overlaid the bar chart on a cumulative sales chart. Still impressive, but less misleading. I've got a lot of other examples like these, so follow for more.